Dylan, what have you kind of heard about the uh, Nebraska Iowa rivalry from some of the older guys? Um, serious rivalry, um, taking taking uh, way back and um, it'll be electric. Uh, Friday night, last game at their place, um, it'll be, it'll be a good scene. Once, once you guys have a game like that on Saturday, how much excitement do you have to just kind of see what, what more you can do in this next game? Yeah, it's even better when you watch the tape and there's things that you that you wish you could do could do better. And um, <clears throat> yeah, we're excited. Um, we're kind of kind of just just back at square one, um, kind of getting ready for the next team and, and kind of putting that behind us. So um, we're, we're, we'll be excited and ready to go for for this game on Friday. Your uh, dad reminded you that he hadn't lost to Colorado, and you re remind you yeah. about Iowa too. No, he didn't remind me about Iowa. I have to ask him, but. Um, yeah, we'll just start one and zero against them. Yeah. How helpful was another week working with Coach Holberson? It was really helpful. Um, just just kind of building that relationship, um, kind of understanding what he wants to call, when he wants to call it, and um, just being around him. Um, I think for everyone on the offense, got more comfortable, and you could kind of see that as we as we kept kept progressing throughout the game. How tough is it to play? quarterback on like a 20 some degree day or, or is it more just wind related that affects you or how do you look at that yeah, yeah. i think just the wind um luckily we live in nebraska so we can we can practice in the cold when we're going to play in the cold um it's not like we're it's florida and we got to come up and play in the cold so we've had two days where it's been pretty cold outside um with some wind so um it's actually been colder than we expected to be on on Friday, so there's there's no there's no effect. We're not calling anything any different. Um, the sidelines will be taken care of and, and things like that, so we'll be good. Okay. Prefer? Uh, I mean, I, I just wear a hand warmer that has a has a beam, uh, electric beam inside of it, and um, yeah, my, my hands don't really get too cold. Yeah. What do you think of Iowa's defense? What jumps out at you about what's good about it? Yeah, their their coach, their head coach and coordinator have been together since I was even born. So um, obviously a lot of experience, um, and, and they play they play very sound. They play very well together. Um, <clears throat> you know, with with it being the last game, you can kind of see them get better and, and continue to progress each week. So um, we'll we'll have to be ready for anything that that they have ready for us. And um, you know, it'll be it'll be fun fun game and, and handle handle our business. Dylan, how has Dana kind of inspired competition and practice and, and pushed you guys? Yeah, it's 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 a constant challenge from from us to the receivers to the O line. Um, you know, you, you got to continue to get better each day, um, and and kind and kind of said like there, there's not a lot of teams like getting better throughout the season. So if you can kind of find a way to 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 be that be that team that's getting better and progressing, um, you kind of. You kind of get that one up, so um, yeah. The challenge is, is is every day for our, everybody on the team. So um, we just got to keep keep taking those challenges and, and getting better with it. Are you seeing that that improvement as the season's going on? Yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Thanks, Dylan. Yep. Thanks.